OK, welcome. So in this case, what I have is y equals x squared plus 20x plus 100. And what we're doing in this case is we're going to go and take a look and see how to factor um, this trinomial. And if you're familiar with some of the, your uh, tech, you know, special factoring techniques, you can see this would be a perfect square trinomial. But you know, it's important to understand the method of how we're going to factor when a equals 1. And so therefore, when we get to our special factoring techniques, we know that we can always go back and apply this operation. So when a equals 1, again, all we're going to be really concerned about is our c and our b. And remember, those come from our standard form of our quadratic. So what I like to do is just use my, um, my x method, where I have a c up top and the b on the bottom. And again, what we're trying to do to factor this is what two numbers multiply to give us c, but then add to give us b. So to do that, we need to take um, the factors of c, so which is 100. So I can break that into 100 times 1, 50 times 2, 25 times 4, 20 times 5, and then 10 times 10. So I look at these factors and see, all right, out of those factors of 100, what two numbers multiply to give me c, but then add to give me b? And you can see that my two factors are going to be 10 and 10. So I write those right there. Now, again, when solving a perfect um, a trinomial, we want to set it equal to 0. And what we want to do is we want to apply the 0 product property. We want to produce a product that's going to equal 0. Well, since my two factors are 10 and 10, I know that the first two terms have to be x and x because my a equals 1. So these two first two numbers have to just multiply to give me x squared. Then I just take my two factors. Since my middle term is positive, these two factors also have to be positive. So that's going to be an x plus 10 and an x plus 10. Now, again, you can apply the zero product property. You can also use the square root method and rewrite this as x plus 10 squared. So therefore, then you can undo squaring by taking the square root of both sides. Square root of 0 is just 0. So you're left, left, left with x plus 10. Subtract 10, subtract 10. So x equals negative 10. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor um, a trinomial and actually a perfect square trinomial. Thanks.